Hi guys and welcome back to the Super Data Science series on pattern recognition. The last one we left off we were taking a look at um, an accuracy score in a k-means cluster. What we wanted to do now is actually build a k-means uh, cluster where we can analyze graphically in a plot the k-means with their centroids where we can really visualize the data in the handwritten data set. So what we're going to do now is start building it. It may take us a few videos just to get it set up and running it, but right now we're going to get going on incorporating our data into the k-means cluster. We're going to use some NumPy. Uh, we're going to load the features and get a sample size going. In order to do this, we need to import the following. You can see the import packages here. We're going to use NumPy. We want to use matplotlib. We're going to use it to plot. And we're pulling from sklearn. We're pulling metrics, k-means, uh, load digits for the data set of the handwritten digits, PCA and scale. So use these import statements to go through, run it just to make sure everything's imported. If you have an error, just double check your packages and we can start working on setting up our k-means cluster. All right, so use a random seed with NumPy. Let's get this going. We need to use NumPy as NP to bring in our random seed to pass in a random seed of 42. We also want to load our digits. Loading our digits from the data set with this. We ought to also scale our digits that data. We're going to now use NumPy. Or excuse me, we're now going to set our samples, our features, shaped. You know, NumPy comes in very handy for working with data to, to shape. It's probably one of the most used techniques. NumPy. Pass in NumPy dot unique with our target of the digits. We also want to label, excuse me, labels the target of the digits as well. And we need to set a sample size. Just, uh, this data set is pretty large. So we're going to set a sample size of 300. All right. All right. We also want to set a print statement. We need to make sure everything's going. We need to also pass in, and I previously tested. That's why you're going to see the three statements down bottom. We want to set our number of digits. I apologize if there's any typos. I haven't had my coffee. We want to set our number of samples. We also want to set our features. For our print statement, I'm going to pass that in as well. Hit enter to return it to a new line. And finally, we can put in our digits, samples, and features. All right, so once we have that, we have everything passed in, let's test it out. If our print statement comes back, as you see below, we know we are doing it correctly. There we go. We have it passed in. We can continue building from here. We're gonna set up a few more uh, print statements. We're gonna then go and set a k-means with an estimator, and along with some metrics and some labels, and then we're gonna work towards plotting the data where we can see uh, our clusterization as an example with this handwritten da uh, data set. That being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, we'll keep working through it. If you have any questions, please post them. And also, as always, subscribe to the Super Data Science channel where you will get weekly up-to-date information. There's a lot of interesting and fascinating information sent out weekly that I highly encourage you to take a look at. It's, it's great as learning material. It's great to stay involved. So take a look and I will see you in the next video.